Hello everyone, it's a pleasure to connect with you once again on this platform, we hope you're doing well. Today, we're setting our sights on a topic that might ruffle a few feathers, the disadvantages of being an iPhone user. Now, we're not here to throw shade at Apple, but rather, to offer a balanced perspective. We believe in the importance of knowing both sides of the coin, don't we? Before we delve in, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Starting off with the first point, iPhones are notably expensive. In the tech world, iPhones are often seen as a symbol of luxury, a status symbol if you will, but this luxury comes with a hefty price tag that can be a significant barrier for many. While Apple's commitment to quality and innovation is commendable, it's worth noting that there are numerous options in the market that offer similar features for a fraction of the cost. Brands like Samsung, OnePlus, and Xiaomi have been giving Apple a run for its money, offering high-end specifications and features without breaking the bank. This isn't to say that iPhones aren't worth their price. Indeed, for some, the seamless integration of hardware and software, the top-notch security, and the prestige that comes with owning an iPhone might justify the cost. Yes, quality comes at a price, but the question is, are you willing to pay? Moving on to the second point, limited customization options. Apple's iOS is known for its sleek design and intuitive user interface. However, it falls short when it comes to personalization. Unlike Android, which is a playground for customization enthusiasts, iOS keeps a tight rein on the user experience. This means that the look and feel of your iPhone's interface is largely predetermined by Apple. You won't be able to change your app icons or use custom launchers to completely revamp your home screen. While you can rearrange your apps and choose among a small selection of wallpapers, the customization pretty much stops there. This approach ensures consistency across all devices, but it can also feel restrictive if you're the kind of person who likes to customize every aspect of your phone. To put it simply, the iPhone's customization options are rather limited. If you prefer personalization, you might find the iPhone's customization options a bit restrictive. The third point is the closed ecosystem of Apple. Now, Apple's ecosystem is undoubtedly one of the most seamless and cohesive in the tech world. Your iPhone talks to your iPad, which talks to your Mac, which talks to your Apple Watch, and so on. It's a symphony of interconnectivity that's hard to beat. But here's the rub. While it's a well-orchestrated symphony, it can sometimes feel like you're sitting in a concert hall with only one composer's music on the program. If you're a tech enthusiast who enjoys the freedom to mix and match products and services from different companies, the Apple ecosystem can feel restrictive. Maybe you want to use a Google Home speaker with your iPhone, or perhaps you're drawn to a Windows laptop over a Mac. In these cases, you'll find that stepping outside the Apple ecosystem can be a bit like trying to swim upstream. For some, the Apple ecosystem might feel like a golden cage, beautiful but confining. Fourth on our list is the missing headphone jack, a small feature that has caused quite the stir among users. The absence of this handy little port in newer iPhone models has left many scratching their heads, wondering why such a convenient feature would be omitted. Now, in order to listen to your favorite tunes or catch up on the latest podcasts, you're required to either purchase wireless headphones or use an adapter. That's right you'll need an additional piece of hardware just to connect your headphones. Sure, wireless headphones are great and all, but they come with their own set of challenges. Battery life, connectivity issues, and let's not forget the hefty price tag. And for those who prefer wired headphones, well, the adapter life is not exactly a walk in the park. It's a minor inconvenience, but an inconvenience nonetheless. The absence of the headphone jack is certainly a downside to consider when thinking about becoming an iPhone user. Next up, we have the fragility and high repair costs of iPhones. When it comes to the iPhone's sleek design and premium feel, it's hard to argue against its appeal. However, the flip side of this coin is fragility. The iPhone's glass build, while aesthetically pleasing, is prone to cracking or shattering if dropped. This leads us to the next point, the high cost of repairs. A broken screen can set you back a hefty amount, and that's not even considering other potential issues like a malfunctioning home button or a faulty camera. These repairs can easily run into the hundreds of dollars making the iPhone an expensive device to maintain. Moreover, unlike many Android devices, iPhones aren't designed for easy self-repair. This means that most of the time you're at the mercy of professional repair services, which further adds to the cost. So while iPhones are undoubtedly stylish and high-performing, they do come with their own set of drawbacks. A single mishap can lead to an expensive repair bill. The seventh point on our list is the iPhone's battery life. 
Now there's no denying that iPhones are power-packed devices. Yet when it comes to battery life, they often leave something to be desired. Many users have observed that especially with older models, the battery drains faster than one would like. It's not uncommon to find yourself reaching for your charger by midday, especially if you're using your phone for tasks like streaming videos, gaming, or using GPS. This can be a real inconvenience, particularly if you're a power user who relies on your phone for both work and play. Sure, there are workarounds like carrying a portable charger or enabling the battery saving mode, but these are just that, workarounds, they don't solve the underlying issue. So, while there's a lot to love about iPhones, for power users, the iPhone's battery life can be a bit disappointing. Eighth on our list is the limited storage options. Now this might not be a big deal for some, but for those of us who love to store tons of photos, videos, and apps on our phones, it can be quite the predicament. Unlike many of its Android counterparts, iPhones do not have a microSD slot to expand storage. This means the storage you buy is the storage you're stuck with, whether that's 64 gigabytes or a whopping 512. And while Apple's iCloud service does offer some relief, it comes with its own set of constraints, not to mention additional costs for larger storage plans. This can be particularly frustrating if you're a heavy user, often finding yourself juggling files and apps to make room for new ones. In an era where we're capturing more moments digitally and using our phones as our primary media devices, storage is something that matters. So, if you're a heavy user, storage can become an issue. Ninth on our list is the dependence on iTunes for media transfer. There's no denying that transferring media files from your computer to your iPhone can feel like a marathon rather than a sprint. Why? Because it requires iTunes. Unlike other smartphones where you can simply drag and drop files with an iPhone, it's a whole different ballgame. First, you have to install iTunes on your computer. Then, you must connect your iPhone to your computer and launch iTunes. Only then can you start the process of transferring files, it's not exactly a walk in the park, is it? And let's not forget iTunes isn't the most user-friendly application out there. It can be a bit of a maze to navigate, especially for first-time users. So if you're one of those folks who frequently transfer files between your computer and your phone, this could be a significant setback. You might find yourself yearning for the simplicity of a good old-fashioned drag and drop. Last but not least, we have Siri's shortcomings. Apple's very own virtual assistant Siri has been a staple of the iPhone experience for years. Over time, it's seen numerous updates and improvements, making it more versatile and user-friendly. However, it's important to note that Siri isn't without its flaws. When compared to other virtual assistants on the market, such as Google Assistant, Siri often falls short. For instance, Siri's ability to understand and process natural language isn't as refined. This can sometimes lead to misunderstandings or incorrect responses. Furthermore, Siri's integration with third-party apps is not as seamless as it could be. Siri also struggles with more complex queries, often defaulting to a generic web search rather than providing a direct answer. Additionally, the lack of a typing option to interact with Siri can be a hindrance in certain situations. While Siri has come a long way, it's not quite there yet when compared to its competitors. So there you have it, 10 disadvantages of being an iPhone user. Let's quickly recap what we've discussed today. We started off with the price tag, which can be a significant hurdle for many. iPhones are known for their premium pricing, which may not always align with the features and specs they offer. Then, we moved on to the limited customization options that iPhones provide, which can be a bit frustrating for those who love to personalize their devices. We also talked about the Apple ecosystem which, while seamless and efficient, can feel like a closed box, especially if you're not entirely invested in Apple products. We touched upon the absence of a headphone jack, which may be inconvenient for some, and the fragility of iPhones leading to high repair costs. The disappointing battery life of some models, limited storage options with no possibility for expansion, and the dependence on iTunes for media transfer were also discussed, followed by the shortcomings of Siri in comparison to other virtual assistants. These points are not designed to discourage you from buying an iPhone. Quite the contrary, they are meant to provide a clear picture of what you might be signing up for when you choose an iPhone. Remember, while these disadvantages exist, many people still love their iPhones for their design, user-friendly interface, and the status symbol they represent. Remember these points are not to discourage you from buying an iPhone, but to give you a clear picture of what you might be signing up for. That brings us to the end of our discussion today. We express our deepest gratitude for your time and interest. Your experiences and thoughts matter to us so feel free to drop a comment below and share your own insights. 
Every perspective enriches the conversation and helps us all learn and grow. Remember, your engagement keeps the wheels of progress turning. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more interesting videos. Until next time, take care.